Hey guys, it's JJ. Welcome back to the Texans franchise. We're gonna have another three games today and we're gonna miss our center, Justin Britt, with an ACL sprain. So he's gonna miss one week here. And uh, yeah, last episode we had our first win of the season. This time around we're gonna try to beat, for example, the Las Vegas Raiders with Derek Carr at quarterback, Josh Jacobs at running back. And yeah, he still is a great running back in the series. Top 10 running back actually overall wise with great drucking and stiff arm. They have the best receiver in the game. It's Devontae Adams with great athleticism and route runnings across the board and he just catches everything. They also have one of the better tight ends in the league, X-Factor, Darren Waller, with 90 speed and 90 excel, 89 catching, six, uh, 86 short route running. He's gonna be terrifying. And the offensive line does look a little bit weaker. For the defense, the Raiders have Max Crosby and Chandler Jones, so that's gonna be a challenge for our tackles, Laramie Tunsil and Titus Howard. And uh, yeah, Chandler Jones, 94 power moves, 91 finesse moves. It's going to be a problem. And then they somehow got their hands on CJ Gardner-Johnson with great athleticism, great coverage abilities, not the greatest tackler. But overall, I'd say the Raiders defense does not look great. Their defensive line is pretty weak. So I think there is a chance for the Texans here to maybe abuse that with the running game and the short passing game. The edge rush, of course, is gonna be a problem for our tackles, but if we get the ball out quickly, if we don't let uh, Davis Mills sit in the pocket for half an hour, I think the Texans should be fine. And then for the Texans defense, I think that uh, they are a little overmatched. We do not have the coverage abilities to stop these guys. And uh, apart from Devontae Adams and Darren Waller, they also have Hunter Renfro. So that's not gonna be fun at all, but uh, we're gonna try our best to maybe overmatch this below average offensive line of the Raiders. As Davis Mills gets out here and uh, actually, Titus Howard is also injured, so we're playing with three backups of, along the offensive line. I don't expect this to go all that well as Brevin Jordan drops a out route and uh, the Texans have to punt it back to the Raiders. Josh Jacobs has a huge lane up the right side and there is 24 yards for Josh Jacobs. Now, close bunch to the left. Carr gets rid of it. It's Davante Adams, breaks a tackle, gets 11, first down. Third and seven coming up, 11 personnel. Jacobs the back, and pressure is coming in. They sent the zone blitz, and Jonathan Grenard had a free run at the quarterback. And yeah, that was way too easy, man. That's uh, just about like. 2.2 seconds until Grenard got their got his hands on on the guy so they have to punt it away actually and on third and three John Mechie has another drop so they punt it back as well and what is happening man down the field it's Keelan Cole touchdown Raiders 62 yards and uh, that was awful man what happened there Derek Stingley didn't, um, yeah, didn't go for the ball and also didn't go for the player either. So yeah, that was pretty awful. And then another three and out for the Texans following that. Close bunch to the right for Carr. Four man pressure. Carr gets rid of it and it's intercepted. It's Derek Stingley as he gets one back and this is a pick six. Texans tie the game at seven. What a play by Derek Stingley Jr. He just got obliterated by Keelan Cole and he just got one back. No chance for Cole on that play. And Stingley takes it back and uh, look how high he can jump. So, tied at seven, nearing the end of the first quarter. Carr, whole shot down the field and it is incomplete. Petre with the hit stick. 
And Devontae Adams can't hang on. Third and three, Carr to the sideline, and that is actually caught by Renfro. And it's a first down, 13 yards. They're closing in on midfield. Handoff, no actually play action. Shot down the field, and it's hauled in. Derek Stingley was right there, but Renfro still hangs on, gets the first down. And now to start the second quarter, Carr has a four-man pressure. Runs to his left, throws, cross body, and that's intercepted as well. It's Desmond King. The Texans get another one. What on earth were you doing, man? Scrambling out to his left and then off his back foot, he throws it cross body. Almost, it's almost a lateral from the angle. And uh, it's intercepted by King who immediately, immediately gets, ta gets tackled. And there is a man wide open. It's Justin Ross who has been delivering these past weeks. 22 yards to get them out of their own end zone. First down. Now third and 10. And Mills has a four-man pressure. Gets it away. And uh, great coverage on Brandon Cooks. That's going to be a punt back to the Raiders. So nothing comes out of that uh, interception but there is a sack here and that's Jerry Hughes and I think Malik Collins was also in there so Derek Carr goes down on second and 10 that's going to result in a long third down and 19 and they are going to try to get it here four man pressure Carr steps it up and that is actually a four uh, first down and 20 yards on third and 19 man you can't let that happen. Third and 19, you gotta get off the field. Third and six, Carr, wide open. This is Keelan Cole between the zones. Sitting right there in the soft spot. First down, first and goal coming up now from the 10. Derek Carr, close bunch to the left. Four man pressure, gets it away and Renfro's got the touchdown. On the man coverage call, Petre couldn't follow him. And Renfro scores, makes this a 14 to seven game as Mills has a play action shot for Justin Ross and that's caught first down 20 yards Ross catching everything also being open he uh, he is outplaying his route running ratings but there is another wide open man and this time it's John Mechie and finally he hangs on to the football that's 20 more and they are finally moving down the field no points scored on offense today as Davis Mills has a man over the middle, that's Justin Ross, and that's 19 more. Gets him down to the three-yard line as we're closing in on the two-minute warning here. Davis Mills on second and goal, touchdown. This is Justin Ross, and he earns the touchdown here and ties up the game at 14, and the Raiders are getting the ball back with a minute and 57 seconds on the clock. Perfectly weighted it out here by Davis Mills. As Derek Carr has a man open, it's Renfro, and that is 10 yards and a first down. Derek Carr already at 249 passing in the first half, and now they're going to use a timeout. <clears throat> Third and six. Derek Carr has a man down the field one-on-one, -on -one, and it's knocked away by Steven Nelson. Great play against Devontae Adams. And they're going to try a 55-yard field goal. And this one is right down the middle and good. Raiders take a 17-14 lead. 33 seconds, three timeouts left for the Texans. And down the field, this is Brandon Cooks running away from defenders. Down the sideline, touchdown Texans. And they score, they are taking the lead. Brandon Cooks wins off the line. How can you let that happen? How can you do press coverage against a deep threat like that and no over-the-top help? 21-17 at halftime for the Texans and that was an exciting half of football, I, I tell you right now. We're going to look at another game here around the league. It's uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars who won against the Giants. Trevor Lawrence gets it done behind 333, uh, 31 yards. And three touchdowns. LaVisca Chenault had one of those. And five receptions for 92 yards. Great day for the Jacksonville offense. 
And in a divisional matchup, the Colts beat down the Titans hard. Colts move on, are five and two. Titans are three and three. Houston back in the game on defense, and that is caught by, I think it was Keelan Cole. First down, 11 yards. Derek Carr gets it away, and this is Devontae Adams, and he catches it. And that is 16 yards to the star receiver. Second and six, two tight ends to the left, plus Devontae Adams. Play action shot, and this is wide open. This is Moreau, and he's got a first down, 17 yards. Down the field, inside the red zone now. Third and inches, Derek Carr, wide open. Devontae Adams gets away from Steven Nelson. Touchdown, Raiders. Can't contain this guy, I guess. 24-21, Texans back on offense. Davis Mills gets it away, and John Mechie doesn't get the first down. Fourth down and one, and they have to punt it away. And the Raiders are back on offense after a three and out. Play action, no, actually, that was handed off, and Jacobs nowhere to go. Third and 12 coming up, Derek Carr, four-man pressure. It's Devontae Adams, and he's got the first down. Steven Nelson tried to push him back, but uh, to no avail, and that's a first down. And from across midfield now, Derek Carr gets it away. Hunter Renfro is tackled after a 14-yard gain. Third and three. Derek Carr, you got to get this one. Empty backfield, and it's almost picked off by Stingley. You got to take it all the way, man. That would have been another pick six. And that's going to add a field goal for the Raiders as Damian Pierce on the outside zone give gets 19 yards. It's his first run on the day as they have not been able to get it going here with Marlon Mack. And now they're going to throw again at the sideline. And John Mechie, third and five, you couldn't, he couldn't uh, drag his feet. That's going to be a punt. And to start the fourth quarter, the Raiders are back on offense. And across midfield, that is another 19 yards to Devontae Adams. Second and three. Play action boot to the left. Carr on the money. It's Waller. First down. And Carr has 49 throws on the day. 420 yards already. And now they're at the goal line. Trying to end this game. And this is a touchdown. It's Jakob Johnson. The German fullback, and he's got the touchdown and makes this one a two-score game. And now they're trying to go for two as Derek Carr has a receiver. It's Keelan Cole, and apparently he was shoved out at the right time by Grugier Hill. So this is uh, going to remain a 12-point game. Mill, Mills gets it away, and Mechie, what a drop, man. Could have made that third down so much easier. They didn't get it on third down. Punt it back to the Raiders. And now they're running out of time as the Raiders are continuing to throw this football. Third and three. Derek Carr. Pressure coming in. Gets it away. Broken up for Keelan Cole. Great play by Jalen Petrie. They punt it back to the Texans. And now you got to get the touchdown. And Mills going down. Nowhere to go for Texans quarterback Davis Mills. They punt it back. Derek Carr moves the sticks, gets it away, out of bounds is Darren Waller. And now they're at the goal line from the five. Derek Carr gets it away, touchdown Raiders, game is over. You cannot come back from that. This Texans offense can't move the football even, even if their life depended on it. Mills gets it away, Mechie finally makes a catch. And that's a first down, two minute warning right here. Fourth and 27 after a holding call and a couple incompletions. Davis Mills just throws it down the field. And it's actually caught. Brandon Cooks hauls it in. What a catch. 43 yards. They're taking a timeout. Maybe they can get one more touchdown out of this. Damian Pierce up the middle. Through the safety. Touchdown Texans. Finally, they get another score. But um, it uh, relied on a fourth and 27 conversion. Kind of ridiculous, man. And that game is over. Way too fast. The Texans were not able to move the football on offense and couldn't contain Derek Carr at all, who threw it almost 60 times in the end, I think. We're going to look at the numbers real close. 
but uh, that was a pretty disappointing loss as Carr threw it 57 times for 465 yards, four touchdowns, two picks. Davis Mills didn't get the help he needed from the receiving core, but still 290 through the air. Josh Jacobs had a great day on the ground. We did not run it a whole lot because it didn't amount to anything in the first half. And then the second, it was way too late. Brandon Cooks, 144 and a touchdown. We couldn't contain Akeelan Cole, Darren Waller. It's uh, kind of a miracle that uh, Devontae Adams couldn't cross 100 yards as Justin Ross had 94 yards. And uh, John Mechie with two drops again here in this game. This guy needs to get it together, man. It's his rookie season, I get it, but Justin Ross is catching everything and he just lets the offense down here and there and uh, drops games for them. Malik Collins in the end zone and Jerry Hughes, they split the sack there. And then Desmond King, Derek Stingley. Wow, Derek Stingley should have had another pick six there. That was pretty disappointing. As Steven Nelson somehow managed to keep Devonta Adams for, from getting 100 yards. But also, it was also mostly on his side that uh, Hunter Renfro and Keelan Cole got a lot of yardage. And um, Jonathan Grenard, he got the free run on the quarterback. And he gets a good upgrade here, plus three power moves. Maybe he can do something with that. And... Um, yeah, that's going to do it for upgrades after this game. We're going to set the national focus for the for the next draft class. And I actually have long decided which it was going to be because our right tackle spot is so weak. And we're going to go with offensive tackle because I think that we need to get this done. We also have a really weak defensive line. But I rather have a secure tackle spot, maybe maybe sign a guard or a center in the off season or something like that. But we're gonna go with tackles. And then, yeah, Alex Day goes number one in the most recent mock draft. We go number three with a tackle, which is not all that unrealistic if I do say so. But if there is any chance Alex Day is av available at our pick, or if we have the number one overall pick, yeah, he's gonna be the pick. And um, yeah, <clears throat> down the board, you can see there's a lot of edge rushers and tackles, Lowry, Wheeler, then Hobbs, the edge rusher, then Norton, another tackle. There's a couple of corners, but I think that Alex Day is the only corner that I really want. Um, couple of receivers in the first round, not much. The linebacking class is kind of weak also. And then there's a few quarterbacks in this draft class as well. But uh, I am not particularly interested in any of them. As it, the Bears, for example, take Jamie Cantu, which is a really interesting linebacking prospect there. I like him a lot. And then uh, down the board, we have the 31st pick, actually. And apparently we're going to go with uh, tackle here. And that, yeah is really realistic and uh, yeah we have Derek Stingley <clears throat> Derek Stingley I'm sorry with a breakout challenge and uh, we're probably not gonna hold them below 150 so it's up to Jing uh, to Stingley to make these two TFL sacks uh, interceptions whatever and then the dev was revealed for Jalen Petre but also from the challenge, we already knew uh, or can know that uh, Stingley has also star dev because the goal is for superstar. And so he's got to have star. And then Petre also has star. So yeah, we're going to see what Kenyon Green has. But uh, I guess it's probably star as well. Next game, it's going to be the Titans. And uh, they are still quarterbacked by Tannehill who is kind of an average uh, game manager in this league. They have Derrick Henry, and if I see our defense playing like that against uh, Josh Jacobs, I'm, I don't want to see them play against Derrick Henry. We need to shore up this run deep as well in the offseason. They have um, 
Traylon Burks, and they still have, uh, what's his name, Robert Woods, a couple of nice receivers, they have Jeffrey Simmons, but their offensive line is not all that great, gotta say, the defense looks a lot better, Harold Landry and uh, Jeffrey Simmons are the two standouts, but there's also a few other nice players like the Nico Autry. And then the secondary, they have Caleb Farley, they have Christian Fulton, they have Kevin Byard, and then Amani Hooker is a strong safety. And yeah, this defense looks fun, but there is a few holes and maybe you can't exploit that. Uh, for example, middle linebacker, they don't have a great coverage linebacker. And um, apart from Zach Cunningham, their linebacking core is pretty weak. The edge rushers, if you just run away from Harold Landry and Jeffrey Simmons, I think you're good to go. And if uh, you somehow manage to run on them, that would be even better. But I guess the Texans are not really built to do that because we had issues against the Raiders. And the Raiders have a pretty weak defensive line, like interior. Uh, they have a tandem of great edge rushers, but they're edge rushers, not great run defenders. They're good run defenders, not great, and we couldn't run at them at all. Marlon Mack had five carries for seven yards last game, and so I gave up pretty quickly on the rushing attack. And uh, yeah, the Titans are going to start this day on offense, as Burks says the first reception of the day and he absorbs a hit stick by a texan defender and they convert there on third and five Tannehill gets rid of it on third down and that's gonna end in a punt back to the texans and davis mills is going to take the field his season looks kind of okay but he is uh at 50 percent completion percentage on the season and that is pretty awful um, it also is kind of a sign for the receivers because they need to start catching the football as there is another incompletion. Davis Mills couldn't get rid of it in time and um, that's going to be a punt back to the Titans. Tannehill in these color rush uniforms which look absolutely great. On third and seven he can't get it there in time. Punt back to the Texan and now great field position. As Burkhead runs it to the left side, running down the field, and that is 19 yards for Rex Burkhead. And a first down, and maybe the first points of the day go to the Texans this time. Pressure coming in on the zone blitz, Brandon Cooks. Yeah, that was right into the blitz, 17 yards to the number one wideout who has been a kind of up and down this season and Damian Pierce runs it in touchdown Texans it's Damian Pierce and he's got the touchdown 7 nothing we're already almost at the end of the quarter Tannehill gets it away at the sideline out of bounds fourth down punt back to the Texans good field position Damian Pierce up the middle and he runs over the safety, and that's uh, 17 yards for Damian Pierce. And they are able to run the football. Pierce, another handoff, up the middle, first down, and then some. That's 15 more, and Pierce is already at 62 rushing yards, 10 per carry. First and 10. Now they're going to throw it, four-man pressure, five-man pressure, actually. And he gets it away, it's Brevin Jordan, first down, 21 yards. Second completion of the day for Davis Mills. Offset eye. And Davis Mills hands it off to Pierce. Touchdown Texans. Pierce runs it in against these defenders. He breaks a tackle right there. And then is already at the goal line when the other guy gets there. So 14-0. Tannehill is uh, motioning within the pocket. He has Traylon Burks wide open. Pass rush didn't get, didn't get there at all. That's 39 yards to Traylon Burks. 11, uh, actually not 11 personnel. That's I formation for Derrick Henry. Nowhere to go. And great play by Jalen Petre there. Third and eight, Tannehill, four man pressure. Throws it up and it is actually incomplete. Traylon Burks has it knocked away by Steven Nelson. 
It's going to be fourth down. And the field goal is up and good, but there is a flag down and they just roughed the kicker. How do you do that? You just stopped them and now they're at the goal line. Hand off. Henry, touchdown! It's the king and he's got the first score of the day for the Titans and they're finally on the board halfway through the second quarter. Four minutes on the clock to be exact. And Marlon Mack has a huge opening up the middle. That's 11 yards and a first down. Great run blocking by the offensive line today. Five-man pressure and Mills is going down. He lost the football and the Titans recover and run it back all the way. Touchdown, Tennessee. And just like that, game is tied within uh, less than two minutes. What are you doing? Jeffrey Simmons just obliterating his offensive line counterpart. Davis Mills throws it across the middle. Justin Ross has got the first down. That's 11 yards. We're already inside the two minute warning. So time is off the essence here. And that's caught by Brandon Cooks. First down. Second and 11 coming up now. Motion for Justin Ross. Mills gets it away. The intended target is Ross. He catches it 12 yards and they're running down the field and take their time out. 15 seconds on the clock. Third and 10. Davis Mills up the seam and it is almost intercepted by Hooker. Fourth down and they have to take the field goal and be happy with that. But that was a good two minute drill. Of course, if you enjoy the video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and we're going to move on to a couple different games as the Colts play a home game against the Commanders and are looking to move on to 6-2 and two as they have a great start to the season, actually. They have had a really good start to the season. Thinking about that first game where uh, the Texans were absolutely obliterated by Jonathan Taylor. And the Broncos just beat down the Jaguars. Russell Wilson has a four-touchdown effort in London. Back to this game. 17-14 ball game. And John Mechie, he is, maybe he's gone. No, he is not. He's taken down. What are you doing, number 28? Are you kidding me, man? That would have been a kickoff return touchdown by John Mechie. But still, great field position at the edge of field goal range. Second and five. Davis Mills over the middle. Hauled in by Justin Ross. And he makes another one. First down. And now Mills is over 100 yards passing on the day. And now Damian Pierce to the left side. And there is nowhere to go. And there is an injury on the play as well. It's Justin Ross. Oh, that hurts. And he's leaving to the locker room too. That, that hurts a lot. Third and six. Davis Mills. Have a man wide open. It's Brevin Jordan. Eight yards. First down. And they are finally moving the ball down the field again. Abdominal tear for Justin Ross. And he's going to miss at least three or four weeks with that injury. Davis Mills. Pressure coming in. Unblocked defender. And that is Amani Hooker on the zone blitz. Wow. That ends in a field goal for the Texans. So 20 to 14 now. Derek Henry. Up the right side there, that's 11 yards and falling ahead, getting first down yardage in the process. Now they have a close bunch to the left. Henry stays into block and Tannehill gets it away and that's Woods and that's a first down. 15 yards to the wideouts and Tannehill is over 100 yards passing on the day. First and 10. Tannehill, three-step drop back, gets it away. This is Traylon Burks, makes one defender miss. That did not look great for Jalen Petre. I got to tell you that right now. Great play by Burks. First and 10, man coverage across the board, and they cannot stop Derrick Henry. 13-yard run, and he's at 50 on the day. First and goal, two tight ends to the left. And this is a toss to the right side. Derrick Henry, nowhere to go. And there is a TFL for Derrick Stingley in his breakout challenge. So one of two down. 
Tannehill throws it back pylon touchdown Robert Woods and the Titans take the lead 21 20 Wow it hurts not getting those touchdowns on the last two drives but now you're gonna get uh, gotta get the touchdown here as Marlon Mack breaking tackles one after the other and he is at uh, 13 yards with that run that adds uh, yeah up to 37 and Brandon Cooks can't hang on but there's a flag down anyway and that is gonna be a yeah that is actually a roughing the passer I thought I saw a holding there but it is gonna be a roughing the passer 15 yards it would have been fourth down but they get a fresh set of downs and Damian Pierce third and three can't get there fourth down and now you're in the fourth quarter and you just take the points here it's a two-point game Tannehill gets it away Woods first down Jalen Petre on the stop there third and eight Tannehill has a clean pocket pass rush needs to get there sometime and now out of bounds that's incomplete fourth down and three they are actually going to take the field goal as well one point game again Mills gets it away free rusher hits him there during the throwing motion on third and ten so that's going to be a three and out for the Texans and Derrick Henry tries to run out this clock and he has done an amazing job on this run here didn't even have to break a tackle and still got like 30 yards first and ten they're running out the clock and wide open this is Burks and he's got the first down 13 yards and now the Texans are using timeouts one timeout left third and one and this is a touchdown Titans on third and one they get it done that is Albert Wilson and he has 25 as a receiver that is ugly third and ten now for Davis Mills and he has a man to the outside and that is John Mechie out of bounds with 26 yards you have 90 seconds left on the clock and one timeout second and ten Mills is going down free rusher again and that's a sack and now what do you do they go hurry up and are trying to get the first down here third and 17 Mills and there is John Mechie and he has got 15 back so that's fourth down and two and there is a blitz and Mills gets it away and that is not shy that is a first down Te timeout Texans 31 seconds on the clock can you get the touchdown you need to get the touchdown here second and 10 Mills gets it away and that is hauled in by Mechie and that it actually stops the clock as well eight point game still 17 seconds Mills second and 10 overthrown John Mechie would have been open and maybe would have had a touchdown third and 10 Mills gets it away ball falls incomplete fourth down and game on the line Mills is going down and there is a fumble and they're gonna return it to what is happening to this offensive line man and that is gonna be a fumble recovery touchdown and game over runs out the clock as well wow heartbreaking fashion here the last two games but especially this one I, I guess in the last one we actually had some third downs we could have converted and didn't do it but this time around that really hurts Tannehill fine day on on the offense as Davis Mill didn't, Mills didn't get the help from the receivers Derrick Henry fine day on offense Damian Pierce good day on offense Traylon Burke 78 yards John Mechie 55 yards but also two drops again in this game and then Justin Ross had uh, 51 yards and for the defense Blake Cashman flying all over the field just like Christian Kirksey as well and um, yeah Derek Stingley ended up with one TFL no sacks no picks wow this offensive line is awful and this defensive line of the Texans is also awful we couldn't get a single sack while Davis Mills got sacked like five times and then two forced fumbles for Jeffrey Simmons 
Wow, that was awful. And uh, we did not get the breakout chance for Derek Stingley. And that is really disappointing. That would have helped him out a lot. And there is an injury. And I already talked about it. Torn labrum. Uh, actually, abdominal tear for Justin Ross. Uh, sorry, I misremembered. That's going to make him miss four games. That means this this episode, this next game, and the the next episode, the three games as well, and then he's going to come back. John Mechie gets a well-needed upgrade for catching traffic there, plus four. He is having so many drops. It is ridiculous. But he's a rookie. I'm still going to try to believe in him. Davis Mills with a field general upgrade here. He is having, yeah... An okay season. I'm not gonna hang on to him because uh, he's not the guy, obviously. But um, for now, I think he's fine. And I think if we're not gonna get a franchise quarterback in the next offseason, maybe Mills is our quarterback next year as well. And then Titus Howard, this guy's a backup, man. This guy is not a starting tackle. You could see it in that game. Uh, actually, you couldn't because he was injured. Um... No, actually, I think he came back for that game. I think he was in that game. But um, no matter what, our right tackle spot is a mess. If it's uh, Titus Howard or us and Deculus, it's not going to be enough. No way that uh, either of those is the starter next to, uh, in the next year. But for now, I guess we'll have to live with it. And uh, no, I was wrong. Actually, uh, Titus Howard is just going to come back for this game. Uh, just like the other two offensive linemen that we've been missing for this last game. So finally, offensive line back to full strength and it's still a weakness. But at least we have the starters in now and not backups, I guess. And I am blaming the offensive line. This O-line is awful. This is the worst line in the league. We have Laramie Tunsil and then a young left guard and that's it. There is no other building blocks on that offensive line. And uh, yeah, we're going to try to go with the pass protection and hope that we win out there. And maybe we can beat the Eagles, but uh, I don't think so. Five and two Eagles who are, I think, leading their division as well. And um, we have a short week. This is going to be a Thursday night football game, a primetime game on Thursday. And Justin Britt is um, asking us how we want to handle a bye week. And after a loss like that, I gotta tell you, man, we're gonna have to prepare better than that. That was uh, pretty awful. Two forced fumbles by Jeffrey Simmons. And uh, the amount of free rushers we had at the quarterback today, that was really ridiculous. And... Um, yeah, we have a breakout chance for Damian Pierce here. Two touchdowns or 100 yards from scrimmage. I think we can do that. That is more more of an easy goal, actually. But uh, you also have to have an opponent you can run against with a breakout running back. And I think the Eagles are the wrong opponent for that. So I don't know how that's going to work. Quarterbacked by Jalen Hurts and... Running back is Miles Sanders. The Eagles are going strong in this league. They are five and two, and they have some some dangerous speed at quarterback, at running back, and at receiver as well with AJ Brown and Devontae Smith. They have a nice core of great skill players and a great offensive line. Devontae Smith with his great route runnings and catching abilities the spec catch as well and then Dallas Goddard their tight end he's also pretty fast I mean I guess 83 is not crazy good speed but also 86 catching and uh, 87 catch in traffic so that's nice and they have a great offensive line with Josh Sweat Brandon Graham Fletcher Cox Javon Hargrave and uh, Jordan Davis whom they drafted their linebacking core doesn't look as great, but their secondary looks all the better. Darius Soleil is the top corner. They have James Bradbury 
And uh, yeah, a couple of weaker safeties, I guess. But uh, this team is pretty complete. It's another home game that we're going to play in the Energy Stadium. And it's Thursday night primetime, Jalen Hurts. We're going to try to focus on the option as well. We know that Hurts can run. And if they do run the option, we're going to focus on the quarterback and hope uh, somebody else can stop the pitch back to the running back then after that. But we're not going to just let uh, Jalen Hurts scramble all, all around us, or at least we're trying. And uh, the way we win this game is uh, we don't. There is no discernible weakness I see in that Eagles team. Maybe if we can limit Jalen Hurts' passing, there is maybe a chance that we might get a couple sacks, a couple stops here and there. But uh, our offense is not even close to good enough uh, to run the football here. As we just see Fletcher Cox beating up the guard and uh, forcing a three-yard loss. And Mills has Brandon Cooks as he runs away from the, from the corner down the field. 20, 10, 5, touchdown! And the Texans are scoring on third and 14. Perfect play call here for Brandon Cooks. Texans take a 7-0 lead to start the game, and I can't believe that just happened. Wow, that was pretty awful by the Eagles defense. But maybe this is the weak spot. Maybe the safety duo is the weak spot. Because that was a post, and that should not have gone all the way, and Brandon Cooks just uh, outran him. Took advantage of the bad pursuit angles by the Eagles defenders there in the area. And great throw also by Davis Mills. Can't forget that one. But Jalen Hurts now on offense. And they have a third and inches coming right up. And Dallas Goddard just dropped it fourth down and they punt it away. Mills, third and nine. He gets it away. It's John Mechie right at the sticks. It's nine yards and they give it to him. That was close. Now two backs in the backfield. Handoff to Damian Pierce. And there is nowhere to go. Shoves away one defender and still loses yardage. Mills, third and 11. Ball falls incomplete. It's Josh Sweat around the edge. Second and three now after the punt. And we're focusing on the quarterback. And Petrie just missed the tackle. What are you doing, man? And Hurts still going. Breaks another tackle and shoved out of bounds after a huge run. Are you kidding me, man? You are prepared right there. This has got to be a loss, man. What is Petrie doing? His tackling is awful. Third and four, Hurts, man open. No, that is broken up, intended for Pascal. Fourth down and they are gonna take the field goal. So at least we get that. Hand off, Pierce up the right side, five yards and there is another injury and it is Titus Howard. Wow, and he's gonna leave the game again. Just back from injury, yet another one. Third and inches. Goal line personnel, Pierce up the middle, first down, 12 yards. And this is finally some positive yardage for Damian Pierce. Third and seven coming up now, though, as they can't get the rushing game going. And Brevin Jordan turns it upfield, falls ahead, and that's a first down, 18 yards on third and medium. Third and 12 now, after they again couldn't get the run going. But Mills gets it away and Jordan actually hangs on, lost the football. Oh man, he hauls it in, runs a couple of yards and is stripped. Wow, turnover. Jalen Hurts and he lost the football. It's Ross Blacklock and he's taken down by the right tackle, Lane Johnson. Wow, that was a quick turnover again. Two fumbles back to back here. And, um, yeah, that was fun. Jerry Hughes, actually, with the strip sack there. Third and two. 
running it up the left side with goal line personnel and Damian Pierce can't get away it's a loss even though he broke a tackle fourth down and the Texans take a field goal Eagles back on offense Hurts at the sideline Quez Watkins first down second completion for Hurts halfway through the second quarter Hurts has a man open and that's complete as well it's Pascal Steven Nelson couldn't prevent it third and five now Jalen Hurts gets it away and this time Steven Nelson is right there breaking it up for Pascal fourth down Field goal added for the Eagles. It's 10 to 6. Mills gets it away and Mechi wide open drop. Just had a false start on first and 10, so it's first and 15, and Mills just drops it right there. They get a few of the yards back for third and 10, and then Mechi can't hang on in tight coverage. Punt back to the Eagles, and this is caught. Devontae Smith, first down. Right over the middle there and uh, completely blind is Desmond King. They move the chains. We're at 60 seconds left in the half and that's complete to Pascal as Steven Nelson once again comes too late for the hitch. And now free rusher up the middle. This is a sack for Blake Cashman. Third and 13 and the Eagles decide to spend their time out rather than running a play here. And um, add a field goal. To make it a 10 to 9 game at halftime. Both teams giving it all. That is looking like a really tight game. And I did not expect that because the Eagles are by far the better team, the more complete team. And um, somehow they can't move the football effectively into the end zone. As there's an interception, Eric Murray to start the second half. And he runs it back all the way, 32-yard return. And the Texans are taking a 17-9 lead. What a play by Eric Murray. The strong safety who has been kind of weak this season. But he just recognizes it there in front of Devontae Smith. And takes it away with a beautiful interception. And now the Eagles are back on offense after the pick six. And Miles Sanders is out in the open. That's a first down 20 yards. This time, Eric Murray, not the greatest pursuit angle. First and 10, 11 personnel. Sanders the back. He gets the football, runs it to the left side, breaks a tackle, breaks another one. Actually not. He falls ahead. But it is a nine-yard gain. And now from the goal line. And this is Sanders. Touchdown, Eagles. And they are having a chance to tie up this game at 17. It's 15 to 17 now. Two point try coming right up. Close bunch to the right. And Jalen Hurts is scrambling outside. Flag is down. He runs it in. And that one is going to come back. That's a holding on the offensive line. And it knocks him back 10 yards. And they are trying it still from the 12. They're just going to run it with Hines. And he has an open lane. And that is actually good. Are you kidding me, man? They tie it up on a 12-yard run for a two-point conversion with Naheem Hines. Wow, the Eagles. Tied at 17. Mills gets it away. Damian Pierce on the angle route. 11 yards. Mills is at 6 of 12 on the day. But third and inches coming up here. Pierce is the back and goal line personnel. And there is a rushing lane to the sideline. He tries to get away 18 yards still. And Pierce is at 94 yards now on 25 carries. So he is over 100 yards on uh, from scrimmage with that one reception on the angle route. As Josh Sweat takes down the quarterback. And uh, he beats Deculus badly. So yeah, that did not end well. And here is Hines. Juking out people left and right, running away from the defense, getting down the field on the 20, and he's taken down at the 17. Wow, Naheem Hines. That was a ridiculous play. First and goal. After the Texans, I completely forget to mention, they added a field goal, and this one is a touchdown for Dallas Goddard. So Josh Sweat takes on the quarterback. The, Eagle, uh, the Texans add a field goal and the Eagles just have one big play. And the Dallas Goddard standing in the back of the end zone for the touchdown. 
as Nico Collins forces a fumble, uh, forces a missed tackle and gets 28 yards on the reception. Great play in the absence of Justin Ross. I formation now. Damian Pierce to the left side, running away from defenders. No, he does not get away. 16 yards still. And now he's at 122, so he got the yardage goal easily. Third and goal now, four minutes in this game. And Mills has a touchdown wide open. It's John Mechie in the end zone, but there is an injury. And it is Jordan Davis. Back to the offense of the Eagles. Hurts has, um, yeah, just calls it his own number. Breaks a tackle, runs down the sideline, falls ahead, 19 yards. Just casually crossing 100 yards on, on the ground as well. Hurts is ridiculous. And now he gets it away to the running back. Miles Sanders shoved out of bounds. And that's a first down. And then some. As Hurts has now 166 through the area. Tries to add some more. Complete to Miles Sanders. Down to the three yard line. And we're now at the two minute warning. It's a three point game. And Jalen Hurts is uh, running away. And now he goes down. Jerry Hughes with the sack. Third and goal from the six. 90 seconds on the clock. And Hertz is scrambling. Runs to the right side. And he's taken down by Kirksey and Collins. Fourth and goal. And now what do you do? You go for the field goal. You've got to tie up this game at 27. One minute and 20 seconds left for Davis Mills. Gets it away. John Mechie. Wide open. He drops it. What are you doing, man? This is killing everything now second and 10 and now he's wide open and mills overthrows him to the right sideline this time third and 10 mills going down pressure right there in his face hassan reddick game tied at 27 and you have to punt it back to the eagles are you serious john mechie first and 10 jalen hurts runs it up the middle and he is down 12 yards, he's at 125 on the ground. And close to 200 passing yards as well. And now the Eagles take a timeout to stop the clock here at 31 seconds. Second and six. Thir uh, 10 seconds on the clock. Miles Sanders running it up the left side. Third and three. And now... The Eagles spend the last time out with two seconds on the clock. 47 yarder for Jake Elliott. And it is right down the middle. And the Eagles win this game as well. We could have beat them. We had a chance. But John Mechie dropped a wide open, perfectly thrown ball on the corner. That would have gotten us at least 20 yards. And then on the next play, Davis Mills overthrows him. Again, wide open. And on third down, we get sacked and got to punt it away. That sucked. That was awful. As Damian Pierce ended with 121 on the ground. Miles Sanders and Jalen Hurts combined for 200 yards. And then Hines has 63 on top. Wow. Brandon Cook's 83-yard touchdown. But not much else. Brevin Jordan had a few catches in there. Nico Collins had a couple of nice catches. But uh, the main thing is John Mechie, man. We had a chance. We could have beat them. And we didn't. Jerry Hughes, one and a half sacks. As uh, Blake Cashman also gets in there. And Malik Collins uh, splits one of them with uh, Jerry Hughes. And then the only interception on the day, user pick Eric Murray. And two forced fumbles by Jerry Hughes and Jaquiski Tart. Breakout player. We lost the game, but at least we get the breakout chance. I think it was uh, some 135 from scrimmage for Pierce. And he, ha he now has star dev and 20,000 XP. And that is what I would have wanted for Derek Stingley. And we're going to go into power, pa power back with the first one. Trucking, break tackle, awareness. Kind of weak. 
And another one into power back. Let's see what we get there. And he gets... That is even weaker. But at least he gets plus one carrying. And for the last one, we're gonna go with Elusive. As he gets plus one speed. Plus one change of direction. Plus one juke and spin. That is a nice upgrade. Star Dev, 510, 220, 224. As he now has 87 speed. Still not much, but... Um, he now has the ability to maybe run away from a couple more safeties or something like that. And, uh, yeah. Another tough loss. You, yeah, you're saying it right there. That's it. It's a tough loss. We're now 1-7 and seven on the season. And struggling badly. I have, I don't see how we win this stuff. We could have win, won that last one, but there is too many players that are making too many mistakes. There is too many sacks allowed by the offensive line. And uh, the overall theme of the offense is too inconsistent. The defense is allowing two to 300 rushing yards per game. And we're now the only one win, the only other one win team. The 49ers somehow are on a six game losing streak as well. But uh, one and seven. Don't expect it to change a whole lot. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe for more Texans franchise. See you in the next episode. Until then, spread some love.